Welcome everybody. What is up? I've got Aaron Trailer here. What up? I've One's in the got... chat. One's in the chat. Come on, One's it's been chat. a minute. What's up? Crate hackers, crate hackers members. One's in the chat. What's up? Any new people joining us trying yeah. to figure out what the hell is a crate hacker? That's totally fine. We welcome all new people. Welcome. Tonight is all about AI hacks for mobile DJs. We figured out if you guys go to your video settings and you go to your avatar. You turned into a Oh, into a oh, that's cool. All right, so <laughs> Wait, is that a new Zoom feature or something? Or yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> how do you do it, Radio? Show us how. So you click on Zoom. You go click by the camera that says video, uh -huh. and then show avatar. Oh, up avatar. They've actually made that so that if you needed to be on Zoom and you needed to go eat, then they won't have to see you eat, and your avatar will take that place. And then that's it's lip syncs. It actually watches your blinking eyes. And it Stop. does that in sync with you. But don't worry, guys. We are not talking about turning yourself into a cow tonight. So like, I want to give you so many tools and so many creative ideas using these new AI-powered tools that you literally freak out. This is unlike anything I've ever gone to before. That is what we're shooting for tonight. Very high standard. But I also want you to realize, <laughs> no pressure, too, at the same time, we're going to be throwing a lot at you, and it is a workshop. This is a scattered, messy, yeah. get your hands dirty. There's going to be a lot of us talking over one another, a lot of of fast talking because we get excited keep up with us this could go for a couple of hours i'm thinking right dom it's all to help you with your dj business in all areas of your dj business so welcome to beyond chat gpt ai hacks for mobile D djs we are going to cover some very powerful plugins in a little bit but we're going beyond chat gpt because that's all everybody talks about and there's really so much more that we want you guys to be aware of especially in the music space so this is sponsored by the future dj some of you guys were asking what the hell is the future dj and so i want to show you i'm going to share my other desktop over here i got a lot of sharing going on tonight your chrome is going to crash tonight I know, so it's many crash. tabs open. so the future dj is really we're trying to reinvent the email newsletter for DJ. It's going public as of today. We sent the last three issues to our members only, but we're now opening it up publicly. And the whole purpose of this is to keep you in the loop on all of the coolest tools that you can be using right now for your DJ business. Today, we had news about Twitch getting their crap together and paying creators more money. We had Jason Janai making a big announcement. We always host the best videos that we find, and we always talk about new AI, new technology, new gear, and things like that. I think the goal for you is you're going to try and make a newsletter we, that people want to click on. Is that what it is? No, exactly. Go figure. We want to create a newsletter that you actually want to open. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's the whole goal. So that's what the future DJ is. Love it. Yeah. We're going to have a lot of fun with that. So we want to welcome all DJs. If you guys want to market your DJ business smarter, you're in the right place. Our goal is to reduce DJ anxiety like Serato face. With all of these tools that we're showing you, we want to help you enter what we're calling the DJ flow state. You guys know that state that you get into where you literally can do no wrong on the dance floor. And then there's other times where you're stressed out. Maybe drunk Debbie comes over and starts asking for crazy requests, throws you off, right? There's not too much we can do about drunk Debbie, unfortunately, but we want to help you get so prepared and so on fire before your show, before your event, before your gig that you enter that DJ flow state. Our goal also is to help you keep up with all of the new AI and technology and gear that's coming out, which is there's an intense amount more than ever before. Find the hits faster during your sets, eliminate stressful file loading errors and decrease multiple versions of songs, i.e. duplicates, find missing files. We want to free up DJs of all the busy work, the manual labor, all of the stuff that we don't want to do so that you guys can be more creative and do more of the creative work. But we'll get into that in a little bit. This is who we are. If you guys don't know, we are the Crate Hackers. So we've got Aaron in the back, me there. We've got Joe Bunn. And then the big guy is Glenn Renda. He is our developer, the guy who has a giant brain and created the Crate Hackers app, which we'll be showing you more about tonight. Aaron Trailer is one of the Crate Hackers co-founders. He's a veteran DJ. He's got started in radio. I think he's been doing, you've been DJing like over 25 years, right? He looks like a child, but <laughs> no, he looks like a handsome young 25 I got started year old. early, yeah. <laughs> he's DJed for Justin Timberlake, Kid Rock, and more. He was nationally syndicated in Vegas and Nashville, voted best national on air personality, voted best nightlife DJ in Nashville after only living there, I think four years, which is amazing. 
His multi-op does 1,100 events a year, and he has gained 5% muscle mass since January. I think this should be celebrated. I just was like, no, bragged man, that don't earlier, that. and you added to the slide. That's great. <laughs> I, but I you and I have gained... one thing in common. You and I both love nerd level. Exactly. Yeah, and so I am Dominic Crone, your host. I'm also one of the co-founders. I am a internet marketing super nerd. All those ads that you guys see on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, all the things. I personally run all of those. We're very aggressive with our marketing, so we try to be fun about it, which is why we showed you some of those very fun ads. I think we're known for that, bringing humor to the DJ space. At this point, I read at least two books, sometimes five books a week, <laughs> just about the subject of marketing. Don't ask me why. I'm totally obsessed with this subject. Actually, I'll tell you why in a second here. I am a mobile DJ, and I help start the DJ's fault. And I'm also an international speaker. So this past March, I actually, I'll get, get it dive more into that. But I'm a marketing freak because marketing literally changed my life. I used to live in a basement. No joke. Aaron, did you see the basement? <laughs> you kept me out of it, but I knew it was pretty low level we, and you were embarrassed to be there. I was. I literally lived in this basement and I watched this lady's cats on occasion for $450 a month rent. You would escape was... to a spa. You, you took me to the spa before, but I know that, that oh, would yeah, be the place right. where you would just escape and read nothing but books all day. These marketing books. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Because I figured, I realized marketing was my way out. I moved back in with my parents at age 30. I was at one point over $500,000 in debt. And that is not a house. No mortgages involved in that number. Unfortunately, <laughs> I was sued multiple times by creditors during 2020, which was the worst fucking year of my life. Mm. And then it turned out to be the best year because we started Crate Hackers later mm -hmm. that year. I was stuck in jobs I hated and major, I had just major financial stress. This is me moving back in with my parents at the age of 30. And this is me watching these damn cats, Mr. B and fucking Daisy. They were awesome. They were my friends. Okay. Now, just this past March, I got to speak in front of 600 of the top marketers in the world. And I actually got to speak about Crate Hackers, the community that we've built because we're an anomaly in the space. We have a very tightly knit community. And at the end of the day, Crate Hackers, you know what? Me, Aaron, Joe, and Glenn, and the community, really. Radio is a part of that. All of our- uh, Go back to that other our... slide really quick. Where are you yeah, on stage? Yeah. They aren't understanding the depth of these photos. We're talking about the biggest <laughs> marketers across the planet. Yeah, the advisors so... for Tony Robbins. Changing the Big globe. Industry leaders were here. And, and I got used to, to live in a basement. Them. I used to live in a basement, but for real. <laughs> but here's the thing, right? I believe there is no more powerful skill than knowing how to market and sell correctly. And I say correctly because people can market and sell in a very sleazy, shitty way. And I am totally opposed to that, <laughs> okay? And I get that some of our style is not for everybody. That's fine, but we do have fun. We try to create lifetime friends and lifetime members, right? You're not just a customer to us when you come through the doors of Crate Hackers, right? Mm -hmm. And I hope that you guys feel that. And th this is why we're going to spend the next two hours blowing your mind with AI tools, right? We're passionate about this stuff. Knowing how to market and sell, it's one of the only ways to take control of your business, your life, and your financial future. Has anyone here tried investing in crypto and lost a sh ton of money? <laughs> Sorry, I cuss a lot. Don't get me started uh, on the metaverse. I know the metaverse, yeah. God, so all like, of these uh. technologies are amazing, Cri crypto, meta, all the stuff, but it does take, it, unfortunately, the douches come in and ruin things for us. And I did get scammed on a crypto scam, thinking I was making this incredible investment. And they scammed me out of $6,000 and I learned a valuable lesson. Invest in yourself, damn it. That's the best investment that you could possibly make. And I personally think what you should be investing in right now is learning how to use AI tools for good, okay? And what I mean by that, I'm gonna address the AI doomers. I am not an AI doomer, but there are people who think AI is somehow magically going to destroy all of us, going to destroy our industry, going to take all of our jobs, create inequality. And I think that is extremely incorrect. I want to show you guys a, I think most of most everybody that's on here tonight is probably open to AI and doesn't think AI is going to destroy the world. But if you want to dive deeper into this topic, there is a very smart guy named Mark Andreessen. And he wrote an article called why AI will save the world. Mark Andreessen was the guy who invented Netscape, which was the world's first internet browser. And he goes into depth of why every AI can make everything we care about better. And I just wanna bring you guys 
So just take a look at this so you get excited about it. In our new era of AI, every child will have an AI tutor that is infinitely patient, infinitely compassionate, infinitely knowledgeable, infinitely helpful. The AI tutor will be each child's side by each child's side, every step of their development, helping them maximize their potential with the machine version of infinite love. Isn't that cool to think about? Every person, or let's say a DJ business owner, will have an AI assistant, coach, mentor, trainer, advisor, therapist that is infinitely patient, compassionate, infinitely knowledgeable, and infinitely helpful. The AI assistant will be present through all of life's opportunities and challenges, maximizing every person's outcomes. Right. He goes on. Every scientist is going to have an AI assistant. And then God knows we need this next one. Every leader of people, CEO, government official, nonprofit president, athletic coach, teacher will have the same. The magnification effects of better decision by leaders across the people they lead are enormous. So this intelligence augmentation may be the most important of all. Anyway, I don't want to go too deep on this. I highly recommend anybody who is like doubting AI in your life to read that. I think it's a really cool way to look at AI. And again, his name is Mark Andreessen. Again, the guy that invented Netscape. Incredible tech investor, very smart dude. Now, I like to, instead of looking at artificial intelligence as artificial intelligence, like what the hell does that even mean? I actually look, like to think of it as augmented human intelligence, right? That's how I'm using it. I'm using it to augment my intelligence, okay? And I'm not the smartest cookie in the, what's the saying? You know what the saying is. I'm not the smartest cookie, okay? So what does augmented mean? It means to make greater, more numerous, larger, and more intense. Would anyone here, ones in the chat, if you would like to make your intelligence greater, more numerous, larger, and more intense. Also, would you like to have your output be greater, more numerous, larger, and more intense? In other words, do more in less time. This is how I think of AI, augmented intelligence, right? It's augmenting, it's making all of my intelligence better. It's making me smarter, okay? And God knows we need smarter people in this world, <laughs> okay? And a lot of people are going to come into this space like the crypto bros, right? Crypto became this sudden way to just never work another day in your life and just make all this money. And we all know how that, that turned out, right? So for sure, there's going to be AI bros, okay? And I want you guys to be careful of the AI bros. Yeah, AI bros are going to tell you every problem in your life can be solved with AI. And I also think that's bullshit, okay? Again, these are just simply very powerful tools that you can use to solve more problems. But at the end of the day, all they're gonna do is free you up to, to be more creative, which means create big, solve bigger problems and do more creative work, AKA what I like to call the deep work. And the deep work is writing that book that you wanna write. The deep work is making that song that you really wanna, that you wanna start on, right? Producing that track that you wanna do so that you can become a EDM festival DJ. All of that creative work, I feel like we're going to have more time to do because we're going to be able to automate all these stupid tasks that we don't want to do, right? So <laughs> disclaimer, before we dive into these tools, we're, we are actually using most all of these tools daily. And this is actually an ad that I created using one of these AI tools I'm about to show you that that face with the guy that's surrounded by hard drives and stuff. I used AI to do that. It's actually a tool called MidJourney. And this is something that you guys can use. It's very simple to use. I'm going to show you how to do it. And this ad has brought us in thousands of leads, right? Names, emails, and even some phone numbers, and has also resulted in some sales and members. So we're using this stuff. I cannot say enough about it. And are you guys ready? One's in the chat. If you're ready to Hell yeah. dive in. How, what Let's is the go. chat? Let's, what's the chat? It's like? active. I'm just... seeing a lot of hackers already okay, who are, are just curious. Fun. I'm seeing a lot of uh, new faces. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Ray. Hello, Vincent. Good. Bobby, and a lot of people who are just new. By the way, Dom, could you give Glenn co-host? Yeah, absolutely. Let me find him real quick. I don't have that control. Awesome, sure. Okay, co-host initiated. Okay, let's dive into this. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you. Sorry, hang on. I missed my... Okay, so I know we talked. we called this Beyond ChatGPT. But the first thing I'm gonna show you some, is something related to ChatGPT, but I, I think a lot of people don't know about this feature yet, okay? So the first thing I wanna do is, oh boy, we got a lot of tabs open. Okay, hold on a second, let me come over here. Sorry, okay. So you guys know ChatGPT, all right? 
Now, one of the things that you guys might not know about yet is something called plugins. So when you go over and hover over your GPT-4, you're going to see something called plugins, okay? And you're, as far as I understand, you're going to have to pay for ChatGPT. I th personally think it's the best $20 that you'll ever spend. And you're going to have to get on a plugins wait list. But if you pay for ChatGPT, they are going to give you faster access to it. And I want to just show you real quick. Let's see if I can show you this. So plugins are really cool and really powerful. And I think I just broke the internet. Oh, never mind. Okay. So basically what, what plugins are, and this is what the wait list looks like. So when you sign up for this and they give you access, you're then going to be able to add on various plugins. And so I'm going to show you one example here. Sorry. Okay. So here are my different plugins that I have access to. So you're actually going to get access to a whole plugin store, which is super cool. This is like Chad GPT on freaking steroids, right? You guys got to get these plugins. I'm going to show you a, a few of them that are my favorite. Currently, my favorites are Video Insights. You will be able to plug and download and have ChatGPT understand any video on YouTube. I'm going to say that again. Any video on YouTube, you can feed it into the beast, ChatGPT. Okay? Crazy. Any link, you can have ChatGPT read, understand, download. So show you guys the description here. Read any links, web page, YouTube, PDF, PowerPoint, image, Word doc, etc. Crazy. I'm going to show you how we're using this here in a second. And then I'm also going to show you a little bit about this Zapier plugin. The Zapier stuff is absolutely bonkers. I'm still learning that one myself. And then my other favorite plugin that I'm using is this Prompt Perfect. Type perfect to craft the perfect prompt every time. <laughs> okay. So what does that mean? Okay. Let's actually do some stuff here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, and I want you guys to really try this, right? So this is a workshop. Later tonight, after I get you all crazy excited, I want you, to, I want you guys to do this. So I'm going to go to my Wedding Wires reviews, okay? Look up your Wedding Wires reviews. And here is our Perona Entertainment Wedding Wires reviews. We've got quite a few here. Okay, view more reviews. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. I'm going to come over here to ChatGPT. I'm going to copy and paste that link right here. And I'm going to tell ChatGPT, download and understand these reviews for my entertainment company called Perone Entertainment for the purpose of writing me some killer ads. Okay, just as an example. I do not profess to, to know all of... Oh, Hang on one second. It's saying it's, I broke the internet. Okay, hold on. Yeah, we're just going to see like your bandwidth catch up because it's all blurry on our screens. Oh, it's blurry? Oh, yeah. no. That's probably yeah. a Zoom thing, unfortunately. The Zoom or blur, yeah, bandwidth. Uh, that's, fu that's fine. I'll try to make it a little bit bigger. So basically what I'm saying is download and understand this link, okay? And what it's doing, oops, is that any better radio? No. <laughs> okay. I think I'm watching Showtime yeah, if you at take night a look when I was a kid. And it's, yeah. Are you serious? Is it that blurry? It's really blocked. No kidding. Oh, in no. pixels. Yeah. It's like a pay-per-view I'm not supposed to be watching. Okay, let, me try, let me try something else. I'm going I'm to... Yeah, maybe temporarily turn off your camera and see if it'll help. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Okay. They don't call me break the internet for nothing. Okay, so <laughs> let me try... Actually, let me try something else, too. I'm going to try switching over my camera. I'm actually on the OBS camera. Let's see if that works any better. Yeah, it might just be a Zoom thing too. Those dirty bastards. Okay, so First they turn you into a cow, then they blur your photos. That's better. Is that better? Yeah, there we okay, go. Good. That's better. Okay, sweet. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and create, <laughs> I'm gonna create a new chat. I'm gonna go to my plugins and I'm going to select Link Reader. Okay, so I'm gonna select Link Reader and I'm gonna go to and say, please download and understand my reviews here. So we're going to actually give this link to ChatGPT. Again, this is all live. Please be, please bear with me. I wanted to do this live just to show you guys like how crazy powerful this can be, but hopefully everything works. Let's see. So you can actually see Link Reader is reading my reviews right now, which is crazy. I personally love taking reviews. Your reviews, by the way, are the most imp important thing that you need to show a prospective couple who's about to hire you, right? 
they're always going to read your reviews. So one of the best things you can do on your Instagram, your Twitter, your whatever, right? Facebook is promoting your great reviews. Like people are going to go to your website and read them. So you might as well push them out. Okay. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and give them my reviews and I'm going to have to go over to a different, I already did some of this just in case this was happening, <laughs> but basically I went ahead and had chat GPT download and understand my reviews. Right. And so it, it actually understood, okay, those are really good reviews. So then I told chat GPT, please write me five ads for meta Facebook and Instagram that I can use based on our reviews using the problem agitate solution framework for writing ads. Okay. So this is one of the, this is one of the really most powerful ways to write an Instagram caption is problem agitate solution. For example, worried your wedding DJ won't keep the party going. Don't let a dull DJ ruin your special day. Choose prone entertainment. Our DJs are praised for their ability to keep the dance floor packed all night long. Experience the difference today. It's pretty good. Struggling to find a DJ who understands your wedding day needs. Don't settle for a DJ who doesn't take the time to understand your vision. At Prone Entertainment, we are detail oriented and considerate asking questions you didn't even think of. Let us make your day perfect. Crazy. So basically what it's doing is it's understanding what was the most important, like your brides and grooms tell people exactly what was, they tell people what was the most important thing to them, right? In their glowing review of your service. So ChatGPT is understanding that and then writing captions for your Instagram or your Facebook or whatever you want emails and channeling that language into a fantastic caption or ad. So this is one of the really cool ways to guide ChatGPT to write ads that aren't so generic. Tell it based on my reviews, please help me find more couples who are want this kind of experience with their DJ as an example. Okay. Does that make sense? Is everybody following along? Is that okay? Now, the next thing I'm going to do is once I have a really cool caption or something like that, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say, give me the best prompt I can give to mid journey to make photorealistic images for my <laughs> business. <laughs> okay. Hold on to your butts. This is crazy. And I actually, I tink tinkered around with this prompt because now that we have a caption, now we need an image, right? So ideally you take an image or you take a photo with a bride and, or a bride and groom at your next wedding or a client, right? And then you won't have to use AI tools to do it. But what I'm going to do is use the power of mid journey, which is a AI image generation tool. We're going to actually make some photorealistic images, which is absolutely insane. Okay. So Aaron, let me see if I can come over. Let me know how this looks guys. What you got? Let's see here. Come back over to this other desktop that was giving us trouble. Does this I can look see the okay? meta AI voice cloner. That looks okay. I see mid journey. Yes. Okay. And it's not grainy and terrible. No, it's good. That was just okay, a cool. weird glitch. I don't know. Okay, cool. So this is mid journey guys. These are all of the images that I was able to create. Does anyone want to see what Joe Bunn as a caveman would look like? Well, that well, yes, we do. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> good God. No, we turn it off. That's something I cannot unsee. <laughs> oh, geez. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty so good. mid journey. I'm going to show you how to use it in a second. You can give it images and tell it, Hey, I have a wolf coming out of a, this image or out of a girl. You can tell it, hey, I want you to make a bullet train out of speakers. I want to have a DJ who's like a futuristic looking DJ or something. Okay, so back to my prompt, okay? It, I said, give me the best prompt I can give to Midjourney to make photorealistic images, okay? And it spit out a big old thing that I'm about to plug into Midjourney. Just give me one second. We're doing this in real time, baby. <laughs> I should have made videos, but I was like, you know what? It'll be fun to just do this live. Like I said, it's a workshop. It's supposed to be messy. It, it is. So... Here I am in mid journey. I'm not going to teach you guys how to set this up, but you do need to use discord to talk to mid journey. But what we're going to do, I'm going to type in hashtag or excuse me, forward slash imagine is how you talk to and tell mid journey to do things. And then I'm going to copy and paste the prompt that chat GPT gave me based on my wedding reviews. And I'm going to Whoa. plug that in. Okay. So now it's waiting to start. It's going to take about a minute but I wanna show you some of the images that I created earlier, okay? Check this out. Midjourney created this. This is not real people. <laughs> it's scary. Wait, zoom in, how many fingers do they have? The fingers actually- they get all 
they look normal in this, which this is insane. This time they do, yeah. Wait, that one's a little odd. But... Well, see, see, so that's why it's important to tell ChatGPT, I want photorealistic images, right? Oh. Or excuse me, you're, I'm telling Midjourney, I want photorealistic images. And they are doing a big project to to try to fix the fingers because they look creepy sometimes. Wow. Now, obviously, the, the DJ equipment is not, it's not accurate it's or getting correct. Better, though. It's getting better, right? So again, guys, I'm not saying that you should put this on your Instagram. I'm just saying this is what's possible. So imagine what you could do using this, right? And you can actually, you can upload your image, your own image to Midjourney and some other tools that I'm about to show you. And you can have, have it create an AI version of you just to have some like interesting looking content. Okay. What about so Discord? Why do we keep using Discord for this? Is it? Yeah, Discord is it's just a way to connect to these chatbots, if you will. So again, Midjourney is a chatbot at the end of the day. For whatever reason, when you create your Midjourney account, they want you to talk to Midjourney in Discord. Don't ask me why. I have no idea. They're a bunch of nerds, dude. But I just want to show you guys some other things that I've made with Midjourney. Whoa. Look at these futuristic cubes, futuristic DJs. A cheetah DJing to communicate. Crate Hackers makes you a faster DJ. Oh, more cavemen. A DJ writing a cheetah. You can get crazy here, right? Oh, here's the music hoarder images that I've created with Midjourney. This shit is bonkers. Let's be honest. But again, I want to I want to be clear with you guys. You can also upload your own image into Midjourney and say, using this image, create a, a cyberpunk version of me, right? So think about how you can stand out from the crowd, right? Every DJ posts a picture of their them at the next wedding, them in front of the golf course wedding or them in front of the whatever, right? Think about how you can use this to create creative stuff. Okay. Oh, we're getting a lot of ones here. Okay. This is good. You guys are liking this. This is the tip of the iceberg. We're going deep tonight. Okay. I hope you guys are ready. <laughs> oh God, it's 834. Okay. Yeah, it's no, it's usually faster. best to, if you're enjoying yourself, keep an eye on the chat too, because every time Dom drops a little nugget, radio is going to pick up the link and share there. So this is cool. Keep it going. Awesome. Fantastic. Yes. I love to hear the, I like to see the chat blowing up. That means I'm doing good. Okay. What I want to show you next is Photoshop. It's called generative fill inside Photoshop. Give me ones. If you guys have Photoshop, I'm just curious how many people actually have Photoshop. Okay. Okay, good. So this next feature is Another way that you can take images and have a lot of fun and get really creative and make some really eye-catching photos, okay? And you could even take old photos and reinvent them with this feature. There's a lot of things you could do with this, but it's called Adobe Photoshop. It's in the Photoshop program and it's called the generative fill, okay? So I wanna show you what this means. So we're gonna open up a picture of, actually, let me show you guys this from scratch and how easy this is. I'm gonna break my computer tonight. <laughs> okay, let's see. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys this. Okay, so here's a photo of me. I'm gonna open this up. I'm going to, so down here, we're gonna click select subject. So Photoshop is so good now, it literally selected me, which is insane. I remember a, a day a day in time, 10, 15 years ago, I literally had to do that for about an hour to select myself. <laughs> anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click this button here and we're gonna invert we're going to basically select not me, but we're going to select what's around me. Okay. So see how I just did that. Aaron, are you seeing this? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's looking good. Okay. So now what we're going to do, and I know this is very small, I apologize, but we're going to click at the bottom here. We're going to click generative fill. And now it says, describe what you would like to generate or feel free to leave this blank. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to say, Surround, I showed this to Aaron earlier. Yeah, this is great. Surrounded this is so by fish. <laughs> and I'm going to click generate. Now again, you're not gonna want want to make pictures of you surrounded by fish, but I I, I just want to show you how crazy this is. <laughs> Who doesn't? Look at that, uh -oh. surrounded by fish. <laughs> All right, here's another one. So if I don't like that, I can keep going. I just click this little arrow down here, and it keeps it gives me three results. Okay, so I really like that first version, which is funny. Okay, so now let's do something else. Let's okay, do um, okay, Dominic in yeah, a rehab facility. Gosh, in a rehab facility. We're just or the musically last inclined. Weekend. No, just kidding. All right, we're going to do that. All right, let's see what happens. I don't know. It takes somebody a little actually, while. Somebody it's actually been... has that pick, a real one, right? At one point, oh, <laughs> I'm in the closet. I'm in the the AI anonymous meeting, and I got to get my AI fix. That's okay, perfect. interesting. I love it. How about let's do in a 
desert. How do you say? How do you spell desert? One S or two S? Desert or desert. Either one's going to be cool. Let's try it in a desert or surrounded. I should have said surrounded by a desert. Hey, big Ern, Again, I see guys, you in the I'm chat. Ern, what's up? We're showing you guy. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Let's see. Here's the second. Okay. That's crazy. Wow. Did it give you a shadow of a? It gave me a freaking shadow, dude. Of a. What's that? <laughs> Bonkers. So obviously some of this needs to be cleaned up and stuff. And, but I just want to, again, I just want to show you guys this technology is freaking bonkers. It's such a cool way to just make some eye catching stuff. And this technology is getting better and better by the day, which is scary and awesome all at the same time. Okay. How are we doing? How are we feeling? Whoa. One's in the chat. Whoa. Mind blowing. Whoa. Hey, Aaron, what's up? Yep. Okay. We're getting ones. Okay. Good. Good. Okay, that's just the beginning. That's just the beginning. We got better things. Okay, let me close some of my freaking tabs because I'm about to crash my pewter. Again, I want to really stimulate your creativity because you guys need to understand, we're gonna take a little segue here. I want you guys to understand like where all of this is going. Adver like Advertising is gonna be absolutely insane. It's gonna be easier than ever before. Facebook and Google and all these big advertising platforms, they want your dollars. They want to make it easy for you to advertise on their platforms, advertise your services. Okay. So they're going to use advertising is hard, right? It takes a lot of training <laughs> to do it well, right? If you guys have ever tried like Facebook ads, Instagram ads, whatever, right? It's, you don't always get results. So in the future, you're going to be able to use these AI generated ads to just do the work for you. That sounds cool, right? And to prove it to you, I literally just got this today. Google just sent this to me. Google AI for video advertising. Now, I'm not gonna go deep with this, but let's just say that you're gonna use, you're gonna be able to create videos and voices and things that are gonna be able to connect you with your audience in the future. So I really want you guys to start thinking about this. I want you guys to have this unfair advantage of using these tools to advertise your business, connect with your dream customers, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Okay. So the next tool I want to show you, okay, we did that one. Okay. The next one is, oh, I was showing Aaron this one. So along this image lines, right? I want to show you how you can upload an image of yourself, of you and a client and bring it to life. Let's say some of you guys are doing some YouTube videos. You are going to want to know about alpha CTR. So CTR stands for click through rate. So alpha CTR is basically designed for you to help you create the perfect YouTube thumbnail. Okay. <laughs> and so what you're going to do is you're going to come in here and you're going to create a project. I'm going to create a test project. Again, it's alpha CTR. And what we're going to do is we're going to upload three up to three characters faces. So I actually have a picture here of me, a bride and a groom. I'm going to upload this to alpha CTR and I'm going to say a close up of me and these two people on a horse's back as an example. Okay. These are just funny examples. I'm not saying to do that. I'm just saying get creative here, right? Now, this is going to take a little bit of a little bit of time, but I want to come over here and show you guys other things. So see how it says your images are being generated. So I'm going to come back over here and show you some other ones that I've created just to show you how creative you can be. So this is how I actually created, oh, excuse me, let's see here. This is how I uploaded an image of myself and created this mushroom cloud in the back. And this looks like something you would click on YouTube, right? You know, we see like this with Mr. Beast thumbnails on YouTube and things like that. So think about this for anybody that's doing YouTube content, you can literally upload a picture of yourself and communicate some concept so you can get more clicks on your at, on your YouTube video. And once you have the AI video, or excuse me, once you have the image generated, what you can do is come here to styled text and you can say, Dominic is awesome. Click on my video. And you can choose from a variety of different, oops, sorry, hang on one second. Oh my goodness. Dom, all right, Dom is cool. So I'm gonna choose on style and then I can actually choose what my text, my YouTube thumbnail text will actually look like. Dom is cool. <laughs> okay, you guys get it, right? You can put your YouTube thumbnail there. I would click okay. on this video. Yeah, exactly. What the hell is this? Oh my so gosh, cool. mushroom cloud. Yeah. 
So that is Alpha CTR. Again, for any of you guys doing YouTube content, pretty dang cool, pretty awesome. Okay, now the next tool that I wanna show you guys, I know I'm having some fun with these examples, but Descript, this is called Descript. Yes. This tool is absolutely freaking game changer. Amazing. Now I'm gonna open this up in, sorry, what'd you say, Aaron? Oh, it's so good. It's literally transformed my workflow. I use Descript daily now. Yes, absolutely. It's amazing. So what it is, it's you're going to either upload videos to Descript to edit them. And it has a very cool way of editing. You can actually edit via the transcript. And I'll show you what that means here in a second. Or you can actually come up here to Descript and I can actually record a video right now. Okay. So I'm going to come over here to ChatGPT and I'm going to say, please create a 60 second reel that will attract more of my dream couples in the North Georgia mountains. Create a, please create a 60 second reel script that will attract more of my dream couples in the North Georgia mountains for my wedding DJ services. Okay. So we're going to give that to ChatGPT, spit out a script. Hey there, lovebirds, we're Pro Entertainment, your ultimate wedding DJ service for unforgettable mountain celebrations. See, this is us bringing the beats to the heart of the North Georgia mountains. We're about all about creating a vibe that complements the nat natural beauty of your mountain wedding from the first dance under the open sky. Okay, so you guys get the idea, right? Now, obviously, you guys are going to want to put your own finishing touches on that. But what you can do here is we can, excuse me, let's create a new project. Or actually, I'm going to come here to Descript. I'm going to come here to the camera. And we are going to just do a little practice recording recording of this video. Okay, watch this. Here we go. Hey there, lovebirds. We are Peruna Entertainment, your ultimate wedding DJ service for unforgettable mountain celebrations. From the first dance under the open sky to the last song echoing through the hills, we keep from the first dance under the open sky to the last song echoing through the hills, we keep your guests grooving and the energy high. So I'm going to hit stop. Now, obviously, I messed something up there, right? And that's okay, because Descript is going to help me edit that out very easily and quickly. So you can see Descript is transcribing my video right now. It's 50% done. Let's wait a little bit for it. I'm going to click publish and copy link. Oops. Okay. Let's see if it comes out here back to projects. Okay. So it's processing, but what I want to show you guys is once you bring the video into Descript, you can actually, it'll spit out a script for you. And then you can literally, can you hear this, Aaron? Hey guys, welcome yep. to the Folder Flattener episode. Okay, so this is how my video is gonna be spit out, right? Even with that little hiccup where I screwed up that line, that's okay, just record the line again because what you can do is you just highlight the text and you just click delete and it immediately removes that part of the video, which is bonkers. All right, what we're going to do is find- So let me show you guys that again, right? So I have my video uploaded. All right, what we're going Let's to- Let's go to a part in the video. This is difficult being a DJ to have it like this. So what we're going to do is try to eliminate- Let's say I wanna take out, so this is difficult being a DJ to have it like this. I'm gonna literally just get rid of that. And now- Folders within subfolders. So what we're going to do is try to eliminate those subfolders. And now that part in the video is gone. This is the easiest way to edit your videos and also to make videos because it's it becomes okay to screw up. <laughs> you screw up, you have the recording, and then you just do the line again and you just keep going. One of my favorite features grooving. about that is, is you can take all of your takes and with one click of a button, it eliminates all the ahs and anything. With, with a, let's say there's a, yes, that, a moment in time. It'll edit mm -hmm. everything. Yeah, I forgot to show you guys that. So. If you guys say, and and I'm like what I just said, filler words. Filler words. Filler words. So chat Descript also will see your filler words. We're gonna go back to poor Natalia's video. So look, you can see here, it recognize so. Now what we can do is just click on those. Oops. Go to the top right, the magic and we could just, button we could up just, at the top right. We could, oh, thank you. 
That's where go. it is. Okay, good. So you go to the magic button at the top right and you click that. Thank you. I was not sure where that was. You can click on remove filler words and it will automatically show you all the filler words and then you can apply to all and it literally just cut out all those filler words and you don't have to listen to the entire video. You can literally just see the script and see exactly what the finished product will look like. Bonkers. Crazy. I love it. <laughs> Everybody needs to be doing you, uh, video content. It's easier than ever before to just throw, have ChatGPT write you a script. You put your own words on it, put it on a teleprompter or literally just read it from a, you can, there's teleprompters on your computer if you want. Read it into Descript, edit it, post it, remove the time. Don't send it, you don't even have to send it to an editor anymore because you can also, another Descript feature that's absolutely insane. You can go up here to captions and you can automatically, once, once you spell check all of the transcript here on the left, you can click this and it'll automatically add so I got 6,500 songs. Captions for you. Not bad. So this process will take. So you can see I, there's different styles of captions too. We can do this big, bold blue one. We can do this one. That's like Alex Hormozy style. So uh, let me know. One's in the chat if you guys like that. If you're using Descript, if you are enjoying this. Yes, there will be. We, we will make this available for playback. I'm realizing it's gonna need to, we're going to need to review some of this stuff. I just, it's so easy to make videos now. I can't. It boggles my mind. <laughs> well, it's true. It, so many of uh, people are afraid of how they sound and the way sure. their inflection is. You can change all that now with this editor. Okay. And my favorite thing about Descript is it's like a Word document. And if anybody has been a journalist or a blogger, it's the same thing as editing a blog. It's incredible. It's freaking incredible. Wow, it's 8.51. How are we feeling, guys? How are we feeling? I'm going to show you just a couple more. <laughs> I could go all night, but I'm going to show you if there's anything, any of these tools that I suggest checking out, it's really ChatGPT plus the plugins and it's Descript because just those two, now you can create endless video content, right? And when you create endless video content and obviously, you know, put your own touch on the ChatGPT scripts because it needs your own creativity and things like that. But what I wanted to show you is if you guys just focus on for example, let's say you love creating YouTube content. This is a new tool that me and Aaron absolutely love. It saves so much time for us. Oh, is this the one? Them. Yes. Opus, oh. Opus Pro. <laughs> okay, I have to skip some because of time, but it's fine. We'll do another. This another is a good one, one though. These. If you're an Instagram yeah. real producer or you do YouTube short, mm -hmm. pay close attention. This is awesome. So as soon as I have this YouTube video link, I can copy this link. And this is a video that Jan and I just put out there with a big announcement. We'll tell you guys about that shortly. I'm gonna come here to opus.pro, opus.pro. So O-P-U-S dot pro. What it does is it takes one video and splits it into a bunch of different clips. So I'm gonna copy this and paste it right here. Click get clips in one click, and then it's gonna do its thing, okay? So now I've, I actually already did this earlier today and so what I'm going to do is come over here to my mailbox. I have a lot of emails and I don't archive anything. Oh, I don't don't judge me. That. Oh, don't need judge me. Need, you need inbox hackers, not crazy. <laughs> I do. So, so you're going to get, you're basically going to get an email that says your clips are ready. Okay. So you click here, view clips. And it basically turned that one video into a bunch of different reels. In the past, we've offered even my own crates, my own sets, my own lists available on Crate Hackers as a VIP add-on or upgrade. And I am pumped to share with you guys today, if you subscribe to Crate Hackers, you will have access to all the previous Gen I VIP stuff. So if you're an existing Crate Hackers apps. Uh, I just teased the announcement, there you go. <laughs> but it basically, it took my video and created not one, not two clips, not three, not four, four clips out of a four to five minute video. If you gave it a longer video, like a 10 to 15 minute video, it would create more clips for you. And it would even make it look perfect on a reel, which is insane. <laughs> so let's say you're doing a YouTube video and you are showing your desktop or like a landscape like this. Opus Pro is so smart. It knows when to squish it into that vertical format. 
So if you guys just focus on creating YouTube content, YouTube content like we do, that's what we do in Crate Hackers now. We don't, me and Aaron are only two guys. Aaron is one man. He can only create so many content things for so many platforms. So we're but just you focusing can, on YouTube. No, you can though. You can take all of this and put this into your workflow well, so much faster now. I think we made yes. the vow or the challenge. I was going to make a YouTube video a week, post some more on Instagram and so on. And we created this calendar that would normally be impossible for a person who had a 40 hour work week. Now we have these little AI minions running in the background to do the work that we wish we could have had time to do. Exactly. Talking about sales and automating your sales a little bit. I just want to show you guys these couple tools really quickly, and then I'm going to send it over to Aaron. So the first one is called framer.com framer.com. For any of you guys who are having trouble <laughs> creating a website, I showed Aaron this and he, his eyes bulged out of his head. It does exactly this generate and publish your website in with AI in seconds. Who would have thought we would ever live in a day <laughs> where this was Remember how long it took to build a website. Exactly. So a lot of us just starting out in the DJ world and we have to create, we have to create our own website because we can't afford to hire like a professional right away. So this offers an amazing solution. I still think there's a time and a place for a professional, but I want to show you guys this. So I'm going to say a wedding DJ in the North Georgia mountains who specializes in fun, high energy wedding experiences. Okay. We're going to click start with AI generating your page Whoa. in seconds <laughs> that's what mountain okay this is going this is a little crazy this, this example but let me see if i can do a better example man that got a little wild a wedding dj in the north atlanta oops let's just say a wedding dj let's just keep it generic see what it gives us of course during the live demo it spits out the craziest looking website so it's literally writing the text for us. Um, it's going to give us a bunch of color options. It's even going to start picking like little icons and stuff. And then of course you can change all these fonts and stuff, which is bonkers, right? Yeah. So I can change the, the color of the website very easily by ch choosing palettes. And then of course you're able to edit this and put your, put your, your pictures on here, different things like that. You can change all these pictures out. <laughs> it even put in like testimonials and stuff. Obviously, the better the prompt, the better result that you're going to get. But this is just so fun. And I can even change the fonts. Just even if I already have a website, maybe just to get some fresh ideas for other things I can put on my website. But I can change these fonts and see how that looks. Craziness. Bonkers. I love it. And just to show you guys some other tools to automate your sales process, I would highly recommend... I actually ha I haven't had time to, to, to experiment with this yet, but... Never waste time thinking of the perfect text again. So this is a way that you could actually send text to clients and to as a way to follow up or even to ask for reviews, right? Sometimes I always have a brain fart. How, what do I ask this person to get a review? There's apps that will actually help you craft the perfect text. Another sales tool to keep your eye on, which is insane, is this tool called Synthesia.io. Synthesia.io. You can literally have an AI talking head create, it'll take any text and turn it into speech in over 120 languages. So you give it the text and then it will literally, this AI character, and they have men, they have English guys, English accents, people of color. The video will be produced by this and you can use this in a variety of ways, right? I'm not saying, I, I personally think you should still be the face of your brand, especially as an entertainer, but maybe you could use this to train your staff, right? Create training videos, upload a script and have the AI create videos that can train your staff on your procedures so that people aren't just like reading things. Synthesia has tens of millions of dollars invested into it. All of these tools that I'm showing you, have a lot of money being invested into them because of the promise of this technology. Please keep an eye out for this because it's act actually oh, wait, crazy. Hold on, let me show you something here. Let oh, Steve Anderson like that last idea. Oh, I can train my guys using AI. Uh, wait, look characters? at this. Hell yeah. Actually, you got a, a membership go. to <laughs> Synthesia. Yeah. That's we'll Synthesia, take you on a yeah. complete tour of the Crate Hackers website and desktop app and show you how to take your DJ skills to the next Synthesia. level. Step one, 
Discover Mixable Performance Order. Can you see that? One of the first things you'll yeah, notice when you yeah, open up a crate too. hacker's crate That's awesome. is that the songs are in Mixable. That dude looks so real. Uh, and uh, you were going to share this one earlier too. It was 11 Labs. Don't forget this one. 11 Labs.io. This is crazy. You can clone your own voice. Your AI will do your podcast in the future to promote your DJ business. <laughs> Imagine like you lose your voice or something, or you just are getting tired of yeah. doing this thing over and over again. I uploaded about six hours of my own podcast, my own voice from my radio shows, and I trained it to talk like me. And it, you, you be the judge. Let's hear. Bored of the same old DJ tools? Want to step up your game with something new and innovative? Look no further. AI technology is revolutionizing the way DJs function. Almost, what, what the do you, hell? Right? That's... Now listen, yeah, so go to your voice settings. Now slide that clarity, yes, slide that up. Go up, okay. Yeah, go, yeah, there. Okay. No, do 80%. Okay. So yeah, you can you're right, adjust it the settings, and it will, this will actually sound different. Okay. To make it more sound a Board little bit more Board of the same old human. DJ tools? Want to step up your game with something new and innovative? Look no <gasps> further. AI technology is revolutionizing the way DJs function. First up, we have Virtual DJ. That's crazy. It uses voice commands <laughs> to now change tracks, up to... add effects, and adjust okay. volume. Slide it up Second, to 100. we have the AI oh, yeah. DJ project cool. based cool. on machine learning. It works by analyzing a DJ's performance and suggesting ways That's to That's so crazy. It. Oh, I got to stop listening go, to it. Yeah, go, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> that. <whew. laughs> you know what I'm going to do is put my AI voice on in the... Uh, around the house and just like compliment my girlfriend. You're doing a great job. <laughs> you look beautiful today. No, I'm just kidding. That's terrible. That's well, a terrible you know, thing. Come from so. a radio DJ who sat in a booth talking to himself for over 25 years. It's crazy to see that radio DJs are getting replaced. Spotify has just released a yes. brand new function to be your personal chat buddy in right. between songs. Good grief. Good grief indeed, I know. This just proves, I don't think AI is gonna get rid of DJs. Don't. I don't think that's gonna happen, but because all of these tools are gonna to free us up to be more creative with our the experiences that we provide to a customer, right? So think of how DJs are already doing lighting, right? That's a form of media. They're doing video in the future. I personally think we're gonna be able to do live crazy mashups with the push of a button. We see, anyway, there's a lot of cool things that we can use these tools for to give our clients a more transformative experience, not just music, hmm. all the things. If you ask me, I think we focused a lot on building your brand and a lot of social media yes. and YouTube videos, but we're DJs. I think it's time to start talking about music and Let's AI. talk about music, baby. Come you on. ready to go? Let's do if it. You're having, if you're having fun, get a one in the chat for Dominic and his incredible presentation. Their mind was officially blown, by the way. Blown! Oh, I gotta I see that I will send out a list of tools, there all the go. tools that I covered for you. There guys. you go. They're asking uh, if there's yeah, going to be a recording or if there's going to be links. And I'm going to share with you my top three third party tools, if you don't mind. Top three third party tools. And then I'm going to show you why we've been so quiet lately. I don't know if you've mm -hmm. noticed, we've been skipping out on a few hackathons. And truth is, we've really been getting into the rabbit hole deep. Dom had to pull me out. He had to come rescue me tonight. Otherwise, I was going to be in the void learning more. You saw how fast we were moving there in the first hour. Buckle in. It's going down. Hackers unite. These are my top three Let's AI go. tools. Drumloopai.com. When it comes to building your beats, when it comes to getting just the basic framework down, and you want to dabble in production, but you don't want the Ableton, you just want to do it on your browser. App.drumloopai enters in and it allows you to build your first royalty-free AI drum loop. Let's take a listen. Not bad. Ooh. Now, if I want, I can get a little bit more hip hop. Let's take the 95 beat. Nasty. Let's speed it up. And then, and you can change the beat. You can view your beats. You can upgrade. I'm assuming that just gives you more credits to download. But it, honestly, what I've been using it for as a wedding DJ is sometimes you do those sound checks and you don't want to play any songs during the sound check. You just want to test the sound of the speakers. I downloaded a couple of drum loops just to test the bass and the frequency and yeah, you know, just that helps me save the rest of my songs for the rest of the night. That's app.drumloopai.com. Number one in my top three third-party picks. For those of you who are just dabbling in stems, but maybe you are holding off on bringing out your laptop and pulling up Serato and 
dragging and dropping an MP3. You just want to do it all from a browser, maybe even on your phone or on a mobile or on an iPad. Well, enter in audioshake.ai. Audioshake takes any MP3 and allows you to, you guessed it, pull out the drums, the guitar, the bass, and the other. So if you just want to test out what, let's say, for example, 24K Magic by Bruno Mars sounds like without Bruno Mars, audioshake.ai can help you there. This one's cool for anybody who has visuals behind them. Perhaps you're an experimental techno DJ. Maybe you're at those raves and you have those big visuals behind you, a big jumbotron perhaps, and you just want to fill with unique visuals tailored to every single song you mix. If th This is more catered to the Serato video DJs. Anybody who uses MP3s but doesn't have a video to accompany it, freshly.ai is where you can paint a picture with a song. As an example, you take a song, you upload it, and it creates art behind it. So I thought it was pretty unique. I have yet to truly get in on it, but you can see that there's an ability there to create visual with the audio. And that's my number three pick of third-party tools. You liking it so far? You want some more? Okay. The reason why we've been so quiet, the reason why we've been stuck in the matrix in the void is because we realize we're at a transformative time in our lives there are a lot of doomsayers out there dom did uh, get to the nitty-gritty of it earlier but it's true there's some scary well, situations that we need to be prepared for dominic what do you think yeah i was just gonna say the news is always and forever going to be desperate to get sure. you to click on their stupid stories so Time Magazine has a AI is going to destroy the world kind of articles on there. Like they're desperate for viewership. So I think it can be used for good and the evil will be fought by the good guys, right? Mm. As it always is. Many scientists are saying now that this is a two-year-old learning a language. And when you're a parent, you're going to teach your kid how to speak properly, right? Are you going to teach him right. to swear? Are you going to teach him to be bad? This is that pinnacle moment where you're going to have to decide what are we going to feed this thing? And I think there's a lot of good people out there like Dominic who will continue to feed it and nurture it. But again, you have to realize the, the failed experiment we as humans had with social media. That was the first chapter in artificial intelligence. This was the first data collection of it all. And now the Phase two is teaching it how to talk. It took all the information that we plugged into the internet. That was phase one. Phase two is learning how to talk. So are we going to teach this two-year-old how to talk? And what are we gonna teach it to talk about? I'm gonna talk Let's about music. It. That's what I'm gonna nice. talk about. Let's Can't do come it. With that. Let me share with you what we've been working on behind the scenes. And this is a perfect example of how to teach something to talk. As crate hackers, we're always trying to find ways to answer questions faster, help you find hits faster, and just ask questions without any judgment. I've seen a lot of, dare I say, trolls. There's other people out there who just want to down talk <laughs> the DJ who's trying to learn. Technology is making it too easy. If I hear one more time the barrier of entry is getting too easy, go talk to the other people in other industries. The same story is happening everywhere else. But again, I think if we can try and curve the conversation to help you and be a little assistant buddy, uh, we're gonna have a chance to win. Here's what I did. I made something for the DJs who are afraid to ask certain questions in fear of getting trolled out or the old schoolers coming after you. Getting what we have blamed. created is DJ.chat. DJ.chat. This is our first experiment in chat GPT exclusively for DJs. You're welcome to go to your browser right now, but you can watch on the screen. DJ.chat was, you can see right here, created by Create Hackers and Glenn Renda, as well as our phenomenal team who've been behind the scenes. But before I show you what it does exactly for the DJ, let me show you how I trained it. And this is really important. ChatGPT, we, we harnessed the information that it gave to us. There's a certain expiration to that ChatGPT information. It stops at around September of 2021. That doesn't help anybody who has problems with current software or current hardware. I realized that was a, a missing point for DJs. Let me give you an example. The CDJ 3000, it's a fairly newer model and not all of this information is available online except for by maybe a PDF. And I realized that a lot of information is soaked up inside PDFs, especially some of the newer models, like the Rev7. Rev7 is 
another newer model. It came out shortly after 2021, but all this information is missing inside ChatGPT. So if you can see here, I went through and just grabbed every single possible PDF I could find on the DJ market. Any new piece of gear that maybe ChatGPT was not able to pick up. This is the foundation of DJ.chat. I currently have the Pioneer DJ XZ. And this is, the, again, a newer controller, but I was having trouble with it connecting to my MacBook Air on Serato. And sure enough, it gave me all the answers I needed. It tells me to update Serato DJ, check my USB connections, quit other applications. It basically is like a troubleshoot buddy. Here's one way to think about it. It's like you're at a gig and your DJ buddies are at a gig themselves. You can't text them and you can't necessarily go to a Facebook private group and wait for an answer. So you just ask DJ.chat. Here's another cool example. I created a theme party generator. I said, I'm hosting a matrix themed DJ party <laughs> for the hackers out there. I love matrix and the just anything hacker related, right? So it said to bring your DJ theme party to life. Here's some ideas to immerse your guests in the world of the matrix. And it came up with some pretty badass ideas like theme decorations, create a futuristic atmosphere of black and green lighting reminiscent of the matrix code. It would say things like, play music like clubbed to death or wake up by rage against the machine. And it even said things like projection mapping or virtual reality experiences. That was pretty cool. So maybe you're sitting there with a client and you're trying to come up with some ideas for their theme party. You can have DJ.chat sitting next to you. What happened on this day in DJ music history? If I type in June 22nd inside DJ.chat, it looks like the iconic electronic music festival known as Love Parade was held in Berlin, Germany. The list goes on. You can get tips about live streaming for DJs. I asked recently, how do I share my screen inside OBS? Show me how. It does the whole run through right here. Again, I uploaded the entire PDF, the entire Wikipedia of OBS. The most recent edition of OBS is plugged right inside. Last one for you. I said, ask me anything about music production. Sure enough, I was wanting to learn about Ableton on Windows 11, it takes me step by step how to plug it in and get started. So that's DJ.chat. What do you think? You like that? It's free. You can use it. And so please, good. Keep in mind, this is experimental. So experimental. We noticed a couple bugs in it earlier. We're continuing to see bugs, but that's the beautiful thing about being a hacker. But that is yeah. one of the big things we've unveiled. And I'd like to share one more before I get out of here. And I know Glenn is stalking us in the chat, but I'm going to share with you one of his masterpiece creations using artificial intelligence. If you go inside the Create Hackers desktop app, we believe in the 60-40 rule. The 60-40 rule shaves the junk away from your hard drive and brings all the popular hits to the top. So you're going to find out the hits faster. That's what the Create Hackers is all about. And now we realize that sometimes crates are great, from other people, but maybe you want to make your own. Well, enter the My Crates feature. If you go inside the Crate Hackers desktop app, the most recent version, you're going to click on My Crates. And then I just labeled this dance party. And first thing I did was prompted it with a song to start. I, it has to get the wheels greased first. And of course, like I experiment with everything, I always use Bruno Mars 24K Magic. First thing it's going to do is it's going to automatically see if I have any matching tracks in my current hard drive. It's going to give me the option to delete any duplicates here on the right hand side. And this shows you the versions that we currently have in our own collection. But if we want to get more versions of that's cool. You can go down to the 50 different resources, including SoundCloud, Last FM. Beatport, Apple Music, everywhere. You can find other versions of 24K Magic. We, we joke that you can find 24 versions of 24K Magic if you look hard enough, but that's not really where the AI kicks in. In the My Crates feature, you're going to see the 6040 recommendation brought to life down below here. And we are into harmonic mixing more than most. We really try to find that pocket of key and tempo so the harmony with the BPM is really crucial to us. So we're going to give you a song that is in BPM compatibility and in key compatibility. That's huge because we're going to give you the next song to mix faster. So let's take a look. We've had 24K Magic. 
Now, by default, it's going to try and find some of the remixes, which is cool. But I'm going to go take it to Thank You Next by Ariana Grande. If I would click Add, it's going to show you the songs I currently have, which is nice. And then below that, it shows me the next songs with an exact key match. Doja Cat, Woman. That's a good one. Let's see what comes after that. You see where this is going. And you see where it can take you. As you can see, it just continues to give you more recommendations. And I do realize that there are a lot of artificial intelligence tools out there. This one is steered more in the direction of the DJ. Yes, it is a tool that can help you. Yes, artificial intelligence is behind it, but I'm here to tell you that I've seen behind the scenes and we actually have master curators, human DJs, making sure that this is accurate data. We're not gonna send you music that's untested. We're going to play it first. We're going to perform it either on Twitch or kick or live. And then we're going to tell you if it works or not. So yes, you always have to steer the language. You always have to train something to get something out of it. And I hope that this helps. So these are all the tools we'll be working on behind the scenes. It is a bright future. I really want you to be optimistic like Dominic says, and I believe he's got more for you to share. But I do. So for any people who have not joined Crate Hackers yet. We want to show you more inside of what Crate Hackers is. <clears throat> Crate Hackers is the ultimate resource to help you find the perfect next song instantly. We're gonna show you a quick little demo of exactly what all goes into the desktop app. What if you could organize your DJ Crate in 60 seconds or less without searching through thousands of songs to find the bangers? Introducing Crate Hackers, the revolutionary new push button crate building software for the professional DJ that makes it easy and fast to blend music flawlessly. So much faster and easier than having to drive yourself crazy trying to compile and analyze thousands of song charts. Let me show you how it works. The secret is the ready to perform mixable crate. It's like a set list in order of BPM and key with a dash of artificial intelligence and even recommendations from professional DJs just like you. Let me show you why Crate Hackers is so incredible. Spotify to Crate. Simply copy and paste any Spotify playlist and export it to Serato, Virtual DJ, and other popular DJ software. Now, if you don't have this song in your collection, you can always dive into the record pools and do a side-by-side -side search of all the edits they carry, along with additional locations and music providers to download, stream, or search. Song recommendations. No more stressful searching for the next song. Our advanced algorithm finds the songs that DJs would most likely play. We use data like danceability, energy, and mood to determine if the song is dance floor ready. Cloud crates. You don't even need a music library. Simply stream one of our crates on services like Tidal, BeatSource, Spotify, and more. With Crate Hackers, you don't even need to deal with the guesswork of mixing music. Pull up the app and allow the software to scan your collection and recommend songs that mix perfectly. You never have to worry if your collection is up to date. Stay fresh with our charts made exclusively for the working DJ and you won't have to spend hours gathering your music for an upcoming event. With tools like Spotify Import, Shazam to Crate, and even Notepad or CSV Document to Crate, you can have your song requests and more loaded 90% faster than by hand. Now the great news is that you'll see results in less than 60 seconds. Grab this now because we've already raised the price twice already and we don't know how much longer we can keep this price at 30 bucks. Oh, and by the way, you're fully protected with our 14 day money back guarantee. Even if you don't like our software, we'll give you your money back and we'll even kick in a Starbucks gift card for your trouble. So act now. Ooh. That was actually the real me. That was not the AI version of me. No, there's no, <laughs> no we wouldn't do that to you guys. <laughs> Someday all of our AIs will just come together and make, just have meetings together. <laughs> That's scary. Okay, so what you guys are going to get is curated crates every month. So that includes top 40 national charts, hip hop charts, EDM charts. That's a $597 value. Plus top 100 lists like rap top 100, pop top 100, DJ event planner, EDM, etc plus other categories. And we're always trying to make this better for you guys. We've got some exciting news here shortly on curators, who the, who the people are that are building these crates out for you. So as Aaron covered, our crates are actually unique in that they are ready to mix by BPM, key, energy, danceability, and mood. So this kind of gives you the perfect foundation. We're not trying to just give you a playlist to go and play. We're trying to give you the foundation so that you can add your own touches on it, delete certain things, add certain things, make it your own, crush the dance floors. 
Our crates are all importable to Serato, Virtual DJ, Rekordbox, and Engine Prime. Yes, Tractor 2. Every major DJ software Crate Hackers works with. And that is thanks to our file scanner and file importer and music organization tools. So what you're going to get is the Crate Hacker software, which is really priceless. Monthly crates, $597 value. Music organization tools, $297 value. Total value of $894. You're also going to get music organization tutorials. So even though we make your life very easy by scanning your library, organizing your music for you based on these foundational crates, we also do give you the tutorials so that you guys can understand the theory of keeping your music organization together. So you're going to get Crate Hacker software, monthly crates, music organization tutorials, and also cloud crates. So what cloud crates are the ultimate backup? This means if your library crashes and burns, your hard drive gets run over by a tank, something bad happens, you can literally go into our app, pull up these crates and actually DJ through title if you had to. You could DJ through BeatSource by bringing BeatSource, Tidal, SoundCloud into your DJ software like Virtual DJ or Serato. And our crates are all accessible in the cloud, which is really cool. So the ultimate backup is how we look at that. So you're going to get all of this, including specialty crates. So we always have people ask us, what about kids crates, country crates, cumbia crates, pop, ring? Oh, how did I say that, Earn? I think I said it okay. <laughs> Cocktail, reception, sing-alongs, et cetera, et cetera. Even school proms, right? Yes, we do Latin. Yes, soca, dembow, reggae, afrobeat, bachata, Bollywood, Christian, indie. We've got crates for everything. Name it, we've got it, son. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. That was intense. So you're going to get the software, the monthly crates, the music organization tutorials, cloud crates, specialty crates, record pool integrations is the next thing you're going to get when you sign up for Crate Hackers. We try to make this and really show you guys everything that you get because it is a lot. And this is something that we're very proud of. So we are definitely not a record pool. You will not be getting any music from us. There's nothing that you can download music-wise from Crate Hackers. And that is because we integrate with these amazing sources for DJs. We're talking DMS, DJ City, Club Killers, Heavy Hits, Late Night Record Pool, Zip DJ, Bar Bangers. Everyone that you could possibly think of is here. Okay, there's a couple missing, but <laughs> that's another story for another time. But we try to integrate with as many as possible because... We want to connect you with the pools that have all of these amazing bangers. We just want to help you find the bangers and organize the bangers so you can find them for your next gig. So this is the current list of record pools, which is amazing. So some of you might say, but wait a second, I got to pay for crate hackers and then a record pool. Yes, <laughs> that is true. However, we are not a record pool. And because of that, our record pool partners have given us incredible deals for our Crate Hackers members to get into these record pools for lower prices than you would normally pay. So here are some savings examples. So Club Killers, 20% off. Late Night Record Pool, $20 off. Zip DJ, $30 off for three months. Heavy Hits. We have a lot of codes for you. And all of that can be found in the website version of our app. But that's not all that you're going to get. You're going to get the Crate Hacker software, monthly crates, music organization tutorials, cloud crates, specialty crates, record pool integrations, and the breath of fresh air, our members only Facebook group that is heavily moderated by us. Our community is badass. They are like, we have no egos allowed in our group. It's the best DJ community you'll ever be a part of. Just kicking those nasty, toxic DJ groups to the curb and paying the $30 a month for great hackers is worth this, to be honest with you, because we have just an awesome community. We're family. There's no trolls allowed. There's no elitism, negativity allowed, especially with beginners who are asking for help. So your questions get answered. You're able to share your ideas, your playlists, et cetera, et cetera. So you're going to get Crate Hacker software, monthly crates, music organization tutorials, cloud crates, specialty crates, record pool integrations, Crate Hackers member only group, and weekly crate hackathons. So this is really cool. Some of you might be asking, what if I want to make my own crates, add my own touch? We give you a chance to at least twice a month, we come together and we actually build crates together. This is, think of it like an interactive record shopping experience with your buddies, only it's done online. And we're actually able to bring in big guests and create crates together. So we've brought in huge guests from DMS. We've brought in DJ Vice, Vegas 
legend we've brought in scratch bastard fat man scoop like big names and you actually get to jump on a zoom with them and build crates together for every kind of occasion which is super cool so you're gonna get crate hacker software monthly crates music organization tutorials cloud crates specialty crates record pool integrations the members only group and weekly crate hackathons it's a total value of three thousand seven hundred and seventy nine dollars and that is being nice to say the least <laughs> we work very hard to provide you guys a lot of value but you're not going to pay 37.79 you're not going to pay 27.97 not 9.97 not even 4.97 if you sign up now you can get in for 2.97 for a year or 30 dollars a month so you might ask yourself you guys say a lot of cool things about crate hackers what are other djs saying about crate hackers so we're going to roll the clip this was actually shot live on location at the DJ Expo 2022 in Atlantic City. Here we go. My library was complete poop. Stuff all over the place came across Crate Hackers. Seen a couple videos on how it worked and I said, might as well give it a shot. Since then, it has changed my DJ game a thousandfold. I have no more Serato face. It's amazing. Stuff that I haven't heard in a while, stuff I may have forgotten about. I'm now being able to put it in and incorporated into my sets. Well, what brought me to it is because I once was a hoarder of music, which a ton of us really are, and they truly are dedicated in helping you to flattening those crates, getting rid of the nonsense, all the garbage, so that you don't have that Serato face at the clubs, at your weddings. My mixing has improved a ton. Being organized eliminates about two to three minutes of brain power <laughs> mid-mixing and while at events, so the faster you're able to mix, the faster you're able to get through those crates and pick the best song, which they help you only have the best songs in all of your crates, the better your party goes and the better you perform. Number one, it's not cheating. <laughs> I've actually had a, few, a bit of a philosophical conversation this week with some DJs here at the Expo about utilizing resources like Crate Hackers to live true to the DJ experience, just getting in there, finding it yourself, which I do not think Crate, ha Crate Hackers minimizes, especially for someone like me that didn't grow up with DJing and really just jumped in. What you don't know is what you don't know. And I think Crate Hackers is really well with helping you know what you don't know and getting that, those ideas, especially also because I think anyone who's in Crate Hackers will tell you Crate Hackers is on a crutch. It's not a, hey, here's, here are your sets, go have fun. It's, hey, here are all these ideas and here's all these tools in order for you to make amazing sets and have an amazing crate collection organized to be the absolute best performer and best provide the best customer service to your clients when it comes to even designing their experiences. I'll give a quick story. I did a gig in, for an MMA school in my area and I thought I had everything planned. I walked in there and the owner of the MMA school immediately said to me, oh, you're not gonna play what you want. You're gonna play what we want. If it had not been for Crate Hackers and the fact that I could pull music on the fly using the Crate Hackers app, I would not have gotten a 2000 or $2,500 tip that he gave me at the end of the night. Yes, like I said, $2,500. I can't tell people how important Crate Hackers are. If you're serious about DJing and you're serious about your business and want to improve the quality of service that you offer your customers, you need to be with Crate Hackers. And I believe in Crate Hackers so much, I got a Crate Hackers tattoo. That is how much I believe in Crate Hackers. <laughs> Todd Sickmiller, I saw you in the comments. You're the man, dude. <laughs> By the way, I need to get into being, I need to open an MMA school. I want to give people $2,500 tips, good Lord. All right, so what you're gonna get is the Crate Hacker software. You're going to get monthly crates, music organization tutorials, cloud crates, specialty crates, record pool integrations, Crate Hackers members only Facebook groups, and the bi-weekly Crate Hackathons, $297 per year or $30 a month. Oh, there we go, CrateHackers.com slash checkout. We are going to, we've thought about for a long time increasing the price of these prices, so please don't sleep on these prices but we are going to give you guys a fast action bonus. So this is for anybody who signs up tonight, you're actually gonna get access to some of our favorite curated crates from the likes of DJ ADMC, DJ Buck Rogers, world champion DJs, Warren Peace, Drew Pierce, DJ Ragoza, Jason Janai. And you don't just get one-off crates, let's do one better. You're actually gonna get crates from DJ ADMC, who is a Goldie award-winning world champion DJ. You get two crates from him every single month that you're a Crate Hackers subscriber. We're our really good friends with Adam, ADMC. He's an amazing guy and a big supporter. And big news, we are going all out on our curation team. You, are, you will now get crates from Jason Janai, 
Justin the DJ, Miguel Mix, and you do not have to pay any extra dollars. I'm going to say that again. So we, back in the past, we had, we used to have something called VIP crates. So that's a $10 a month add-on. And there's no more, there's not going to be any more add-ons in the next couple of weeks. We're going to be phasing those out and everyone going forward will not have access to all the crates from Jason Janai, Justin the DJ, Miguel Mix, soon Fat Man Scoop, soon DJ Vice, soon HK in the Mix. So we're working on those deals right now, but Jason Janai's is finalized. You now, everybody has access to his crates going forward. If you have been paying for his VIP, for anybody that's in here, we're going to be phasing that out. You will still have access to all the crates that you paid for. And that is our thank you to you. We're saving everybody money and upping the quality of the crates. So again, you're going to want annual membership. Here's our, the bonuses when you become an annual member. So the first thing you're going to get is an exclusive interview series with six DJ and MC legends. We called this series Pimp My Crates, which was really <laughs> fun. We asked them, you actually get six hours of exclusive interviews answering questions like, and this, these are the questions we asked them. If you started over with what you know, now know, how would you organize your music? Let's say you're about to DJ the Super Bowl. What are your top five go-to tracks that you would play? How do you creatively prep for an event and what system of tagging do you use to help you organize and find tracks to so under to our understanding there this these interviews are like some of the best deepest coolest conversations that we had again with these really cool very successful personalities and so anybody that joins annual will get access to those tonight Crate Hackers Advanced Guides is our next annual bonus. This includes a ultimate Serato settings tutorial from Drew Pierce and backing up your library to Dropbox. That is for our annual members. And then way more bonuses. Make your own edits with D Ableton using by DJ Ragoza. Beat mixing tips, DJ event planner walkthroughs, DJ fitness, lots and lots of bonuses, lots of video tutorials for our annuals. So again, you're going to get all of this for, oops, and you're not going to pay 67 70 what is it 67 67 67 you are you, i'm sure you could see why we could charge much more for this program but all we're going to ask for you guys is the 297 for the year or if you can't if you can't swing that right now it's totally fine you can join for the 30 dollars a month and just get started and you can always upgrade in the future to the annual membership so you can sign up now at www.cratehackers.com slash checkout. So we do offer this for any of you guys who join and you're not completely satisfied. First of all, we don't want your money. We will give you all of your money back. So if we'll give you all your money back, we'll send you a $10 Starbucks gift card if you request it, if you really did not like Crate Hackers that much. And I'm going to give you my get the fuck out of here guarantee. Excuse me, the GTFO guarantee. Wow, I went hard there. If you sign up today and you don't like Crate Hackers for any reason, we'll give you your money back. And me personally, I will buy you any other DJ software that you want up to $100 if you so request it, okay? That is the crazy guarantee that I give people. I don't market or sell anything that I don't truly believe in. Again, you guys are going to get all of this. Annuals will be getting all of these bonuses. You're gonna get our AI music organization tools as well as all of the free access to the VIP crates from Jason Janai, ADMC, Justin the DJ, Miguel Mix. Again, go to cratehackers.com slash checkout. There you go. Give it up for Dom. Give him a one. He busted okay. his ass. He's yeah, gonna have this yeah, group. yeah. And I have All to fly out at 6 a.m. tomorrow. <laughs> oh, you serious? We'll go to bed, man. We're gonna crash 9 out. 9 a.m. flight. Nah, right, well, I love this stuff. Come join me back again on Tuesday if you don't mind. For sure, for sure. All right, y'all. you guys. Peace Happy hackers. hacking. Happy hacking.